Hey, what's up, everybody? Prophetic here. Wanted to do a quick uh, on-the-fly demo slash uh, experiment of um, DistroBox, right? So, uh, DistroBox, think of VirtualBox, but streamlined down um, in a very light, efficient way to run a operating system without having to do a lot of fiddling so that operating system has access to your home directory and files. Um, so what's really cool about that is it's light on resources and um, pretty dang efficient. Um, so I use, and my, this is an example why I use it, um, the there's certain things that may not run or you need to do a lot of work to get it running on one distribution over the other so for example for me um i at my job we use connectwise for our remote access and management of different you know systems um whether it's reaching out to a customer and access their computer or whether it's an asset within the company and for testing purposes uh, we have to remote in so i'm on uh, open system micro s uh, desktop and um uh, for the i didn't troubleshoot too much but uh, for the most part i couldn't get the java runtime and um the version of ice T web wasn't really compatible with the vert, which is like a jumper to kind of like open up the remote session. Um, wasn't compatible with the version of screen connect that my, our job uses. And so I had to go down like a version lower. So, so what I did was install distro box, actually distro box, I think it's baked in micro S desktop or I forget, but toolbox or distro box is pretty much the same. Um, DistroBox will give you some nice conveniency tools and different things. Um, so essentially, um, what I had to do was once you have DistroBox going, you pretty much run a quick command and you are able to uh, launch an environment. So this is this is how easy it would be to get Ubuntu 1804 or 2004, you would go distro box, create dash I, and then Ubuntu colon 18.04 or 20.04. Um, and then once you have that, it'll run through, install in no time. And then once you've done that, distro box enter Ubuntu um, you can have aliases set up um, so if you want to do if you have more than one version of Ubuntu, Ubuntu on you can do Ubuntu 18 and that'll be the alias for Ubuntu 1804 and you'll jump in there or Ubuntu 20 and then be Ubuntu 2004 to jump in there um, and so I just have a generic this is the only Ubuntu I have the other one is a uh, tumbleweed and I just go boom I'm in um, and it did, when you run it, run it for the first time for a first boot, um, there's some other things that spit out, but pretty much now I'm in Ubuntu box and now, uh, people think like, oh, it's only for graphical, uh, for, uh, terminal things and, you know, developers will only use it, whatever. But, um, if there's something that might break on a newer version point release of a, a, a software that, that you don't want to be bothered with, um, or, you know, some, some applications may rearrange some menus and, and do some changes to apps and you want to really stick to a specific point release or something. Um, this could be a really cool way to kind of like have your cake and eat it too. I'm on, uh, micro OS, which is based on tumbleweed. So it was rolling. Um, I'm probably going to be installing or getting the update for, uh, gnome 43, uh, once I reboot this. Um, and yet I still can, launch applications. Um, so I know it works with the, um, 
with screen connect wise or yeah, connect wise uh, for a company I'm going to do something random on the fly here and get to see install audacity let's see what comes back now because this is a uh, a mini image of Ubuntu uh, it has to pull in a little more extra stuff so it might take a little longer than usual but cool and also I, I've run uh, Tilex on here too I like Tilex 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 I don't know because I'm in an Ubuntu terminal now and if I wanted to do a lot of multitasking things I can keep it with one terminal window and bang out some stuff but I'm actually interested in Audacity right now so let's see what happens with Audacity what happens when I launch Audacity and boom my other window I have Audacity. And let's see if I can record. Test one, two, test one, two. And let's see if I can play. You probably might not be able to hear it because, but let's see. Test one, two, test one, two. Yep, works. So I'm gonna save it. And it has access to my home directory. So no, no fiddling. Let's uh, put it to music. Now notice the theme on the pop-ups are, are not going to match your native host theme, but really I will gladly take that trade off having somewhat mismatching themes here and there. Okay. So that looks like it's saved. Let's go to my files music. Look, uh, I, well, I don't, actually, this is my host OS, Audacity, I think. But in any way, I want to open up with VLC player. Test one, two, test one, two. And it works. So that's just a quick demo of how easy it would be to set up um, graphical tools for a distro box. Now, uh, I'm going to go to the documentation because it's really important that we know the context because we had someone not realize what time it is when it, with this project, but it's still a release candidate. So expect some um, rough edges, but I'll be honest, I barely feel it. Um, so toolbox, GUI application setup. There's some things to kind of... Um, make it more convenient like doing shortcut stuff and so it just goes right through you know this is a great one here desktop entries so you have shortcuts and you know i i use distrobox here and there so i haven't gone so far to uh do um this this level of convenience um, but it's possible you know so it feels even more native when you're launching it so uh, I hope that kind of helps people kind of ease in a little more distro box I I totally believe that distro box and toolbox um, as Jorge Georgia uh, Castro I think it his name is um, has said um, that it's only a matter of time before we make these tools more convenient for for the average Linux user. Eventually, you know, we're we're going to be able to do this. It's going to be the new norm. You know, running apps through different containers on uh, distros, and uh, I just hope that a video like this can kind of start at least opening the door to people to kind of walk right in and take a peek. So, um, hope this helps someone to kind of, if there's any issue, um, or you're not, you know, not exactly clear how easy it is. It's literally that easy.
and I hope you try it out. Micro OS Desktop by OpenSUSE based on Tumbleweed. Demonstration of DistroBox. Give it a try and let me know how you like it. Peace.